back at the Urban Spillway. Got a bucket of minnows with us. Um, basically, the goal today is to drown some minnows and see what we can catch. I think it's a dang gar keep grabbing it. I see the minnow. I'm gonna let it take it longer this time. I dropped it. You know something's up. Pretty sure I'm messing with the gar. Picked it up again. I have no clue how I'm gonna hook this thing. <laughs> Just keep stealing my minnow. Just feeding the thing minnows. Oh, I missed him again. Can't hook him. I'm letting him take it a lot longer. It's definitely a gar that's on there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy here. I don't know how to hook these gar. That's what's biting. It would be fun to catch one though. All they're doing is they're just, they're taking my bait every single cast. Yeah, something bit. I don't know what. How long do we let them bite for? Treble hook, so. Not tiny. Not huge though. Oh, it let go. I think it was a bass. That was a big bass. Holy smokes. Smoked coffee, that was a big bass. I think he might have gotten my bait. Yeah, he got my bait. Dang it, see, I'm just feeding these things shiners. All right, I think we finally have another guard. Took it, it's been a while. Cool, and this time it's staying away from that person's line, which is good. I'm gonna let it take it a very long time this time. He's running with it. And he's running with it. He's running with it. I'm gonna take it for almost forever. I think I got him finally. Yay. It's a smallmouth. That's not a gar. I would have not let it take it that long if I'd have known this was a smallmouth. <laughs> I saw a guy running with the smallmouth too. <laughs> Probably swallowed the living heck out of it. I let that smallmouth take it way too long. <laughs> well, at least we got something halfway decent today, right? Careful with that treble hook on here too. Things gonna wanna. Well, he almost went right into the net there. Now we went right into the net. Now we got him. Alrighty. Not that big, but not that small either. A little bigger than cookie cutter. Oh good, he didn't swallow too bad. Perfect. He did not swallow it bad at all. He'll be fine. Okay, the other urban spillway in my area today. <sighs> Getting gar every drift, but I can't uh, can't hook them dang things. All right, something it's down, and I think it's moving. Oh yeah, it's down and it's moving. It's moving. Oh, it just popped back up. Just popped back up. Let it take it too long. It's down again. It's moving again. It's on the move again. All right. I think I'm better try and set this hook here. There we go. Oh! <laughs> no hooky of a gar that time. Definitely felt different. Felt wormier and squirmier. I think that was our gar. I guess we gotta let it take you longer, it's just hard. You let them take it too long, they drop it, not long enough, and you're never gonna hook them, never in a million years. <laughs> not long enough, apparently. Feeding the minnows still. All right, something bit up here by the waterfall again. I'm guessing this is the bass I missed earlier. It was a decent sized bass, so hopefully I get them this time. I'm not gonna let them take the hook as long as some of those other fish. I don't know where he went with it, always bringing it this way. I hate it when they do that. Hard to judge where they are then. Oh, I'm on a stick or some It's a small bass. And I'm on a stick or some Stupid stick is going to make it so I can't boat flip them. Of all the stupid things in the world, thank you. Now I can flip them up. Now I should be able to flip them up. It's a largemouth. Might be the one I missed earlier. The one I missed earlier I think was bigger. So it's hard to say. I think the one I missed earlier, I saw the mouth on it was huge. So I think it was a different one. But hey, it's a fish. This one's a cookie cutter size, I'd say. That smallmouth was a little bit bigger than cookie cutter. This one's your typical 13 to 16 inch bass. 
Why do all the bees like this thing? Get away from me. It's a honeybee. Shoot. 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 Alright, now I lost track of my bobber. Stupid bee attacking me. There's a fish on here. There's a fish on here. What is it? This might be another bass. Small bass. School of small bass moved in over here. It appears. Another largey. Twinning. Sometimes big muskie come out of the schools of uh, largemouth, so you know, you never know. Good to drown some shiners after work anyway. Lots of fish. <laughs> current runners. They running me into the current. Now we're to cookie cutters. This one's the cookie cutter smallmouth. All right, buddy. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, he spiked me. He got me back. See you, buddy. All right, apparently there's a duck over here stuck on a lure. Let's see if we can help it. I don't think mama's gonna let me near it. Oh, you poor baby. I'm gonna try and help you, don't worry. Yeah, you're definitely right. Yeah. Let me grab my forceps. Alrighty folks, we gotta do a baby duck rescue. Good news is, I should get a lure out of the deal. And of course, it makes good YouTube content. You poor baby. Mama is not happy. Hopefully there's no poison ivy over here. These zebra mussels are very sharp. I'm trying to help, Mama. Oh, poor baby. Grab your beak, okay? It's gonna be okay. Lightly grab your beak. It's okay, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Now you done done it now. You done done it now. You done done it now. Let's get it out of your mouth first, okay? Good, didn't ya? I'm making the problem worse instead of better, huh? Okay. okay, buddy. You're free. Looks no worse for wear, either. Swimming normal, doesn't look like anything's broken. Nice. Little jerk bait. I think it's, I don't know if it's an X wrap or something similar. At least I get a lure out of the deal. <laughs> They're all together now. Alrighty. Well, now all that work, and uh, at least we got a lure out of the deal. So um, not only did we get to rescue a duck, we also got, I mean, that's probably a $12 lure. I think that's, I don't know if that's an X wrap. If it's an X wrap, it's a, like a custom color. Um, I feel like I've seen this before. 
It's it's escaping my mind what kind of lure this is. Maybe it's an X-Wrap, um, but I don't think so. Anyway, it's a nice lure. Definitely gonna use it. Um, and it's gonna go right into my jerk bait box. <laughs> Alrighty, decided to round off the day here with a fishing attempt. There's actually a lot of commotion out here. A lot of fish in there, I don't know what they are. After walleye, but I don't think this is a walleye. <laughs> like a bluegill or something stupid. Could it be a bullhead? I don't know what this is. White bass. Or white perch, I mean. White perch. Ow! Ow! Boy, this thing is spiky. White perch. Eater size white perch. Alright, not a walleye. See you, buddy. I think we got a bite again already. Yeah. Seem to have happened upon a school of white bass. But maybe uh, a walleye or something will be mixed in here eventually. As it continues to get late, the stupid stuff should stop biting as much. Oh boy, rock bass. Rock bass will continue to bite though. They're nocturnal. Hmm. Oh, hello. I got a fish on here. What do we got? Is this a walleye? Could this be a walleye? That is a bass. Not a walleye. Oh great, I got a fish on this pole. Yeah. Fish on both poles here. Get you off the line. It's a white perch. Let's get the bass off the line now. And then we'll settle down. Alright. Get the bass off too. I think I got a fish on here again. I definitely got a fish on here. Ooh, it's a bigger one. It's not that much bigger. A little bit bigger. Oh, it's a gar. Do I finally got my dang gar? I think I finally got my gar. It's a gar, all right. It's a gar. No idea. You gotta hook him fast. Oh boy, he doesn't like looking at that net. He's almost into the net. Come on, buddy. He's gonna cut that line in a second. Oh, he cut the line. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> My net's just not quite big enough. <laughs> My net's just not quite big enough. Did he break the line? He might have broken the line. Ah, oh, he didn't even cut the line. He broke the line. My bobber's still there. No, my bobber. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. My net's just not quite big enough. I guess I should have dragged him down there. Because it's a gar, it's a ticking time bomb before he cuts through with his teeth, so... I didn't want to take the time of bringing them all the way down to the rocks. <sighs> Guess that's what I should have done instead of horsing them. I was this close, man. If I had the pier net, we would have had them. This close. If I had somebody with me, we would have had them. I'm fine. That's not very big. Another rock bass, I believe. White bass, another white bass. Bigger white bass. <laughs> bigger white bass is gonna require forceps. And then the white perch, I told myself that was gonna be my last worm. Hoping drifting this worm in the current down there would get ourselves a walleye eventually. Didn't happen. My pole's bobbing. I'm quite certain that's just my pole getting involved in the current down there. No, no, that's actually a fish. That is indeed a fish. What have we got? Feels decent. Might be another gar. It's getting pulled down this time. I don't think it's a gar. It's not acting like a gar. I guess it's another bass, probably. I don't know what this is. Net worthy. Barely. I'm guessing it's another bass. Yeah, it's another bass. Not a walleye. Is it in the net? No, it's not. I think it's in the net now. It's in the net. Another bass, not another gar. Alright, this might be the last fish of the night because we gotta get going here. Let Mr. Smallmouth here free. See ya, buddy. Missed the gar today. Caught a bunch of fish though. It was a fun, 
evening. Rescued a duck. I guess I'll slap this on with the, the video from earlier. Rescued a duck, caught some fish. Nothing too crazy. It would have been cool to get the gar. That would have been the cool fish of the day. It would have been cool to get. Some of the gar down there were huge. The one that I had hooked over here was a pretty average size gar. It wasn't small, wasn't big. That would have been cool to catch just because I guess they're not rare in here, but they're kind of rare around western New York. And they're not rare at all when you get down south. They're a nuisance, actually. But uh, people target them here. It would have been cool to catch one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next adventure.